Metzger, Financial News Network. TFNN, Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently, we have all U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. Dow's down 211. NASDAQ is off 187. The S&P's down 42. And the E-mini Russell is off 18 points. That's about 1% to the uh, downside. Gold's off 21 bucks, a little over 1%. Silver's down 2.5% or 54 points. That's testing support. We'll take a look at that. The 30-year Treasury's off uh, nearly 2 points, uh, 1.2130 seconds out there. Trading out at 142.02. So what's all this mean or what are you going to be watching today? We'll switch back and forth between a couple of charts right now. We'll take a look at the daily equity future contract charts out there. You're going to want to really watch the uh, close today. Why? Because if we do get bearish reversal candles, which we have right now, that's easy to do for the ES Mini because yesterday was just a doji. Right now, you've got a three river evening start pattern. If we do get that, that's a sell the D point signal. That would suggest price pulling back and testing support. The first level of support would be 40.59. Inside the NQ, it's sell the D point pattern, which suggests price moving back to 12.797. The case of the Dow, its first level of support is around that 32.174 area. And inside the Russell 2000, it's below 18.70, but that would then confirm a sell the D point pattern. So it's going to be the end of the day that you're going to want to watch. Don't know what it will look like at the end of the day out there. If you don't get a bearish reversal candle, then the next likely topping signal would be TD9 count tops coming from the ES, the NQ, and the uh, Russell 2000. But their close today could impact that as well out there. Let's go take a look at what's going on in the other markets out here. So if you give me a moment, we'll take a look at my other nine panel market update uh, screen out there. And uh, first, what we'll look at here is uh, the U.S. dollar index. U.S. dollar index is trading in between uh, support and resistance, which is between 105.63 and 106.82. That's the top and the bottom of its profiles. Goldilocks, as I mentioned, or maybe I didn't mention, it has an A to B equals CD. And if it does create this little bearish reversal candle, which is present right now, that suggests the price could pull back to 17.58 to 17.58. 1973. Silver right now is testing the bottom of its daily profile. That's at 1958. We're trading at 1953. A close below 1958 is going to suggest lower price. Lower price being where? Well, I'd say at least the top of the swing point from the trading day of July 14th out there. Lights we crude. We have to watch that here today. You've got the natural gas consolidating with inside its daily profile, as are the 30-year treasuries. Support for the 30-year treasuries, 140.31. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next with the Morning Market Kickoff. Have a fantastic Friday, wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday, 11 o'clock sharp. Take care.